Hey guys, it's Pink Paper Blue Blossom here. I hope you're all doing great. Oh my goodness, forgive my nails. I um, I've just realised I've got two missing. Sorry, I just need to get them done again. Anyway, today I'm coming on to show you the new Prima collection by Frank Garcia. It's the Luna collection, the um, Halloween collection. And I am also going to be showing you the Candy Cane Lane collection that I also got from Prima, which is right now my absolute favourite brand for paper crafting. So anyway, I got myself a little porcelain pumpkin to sit right here to frame my videos a bit and I'm waiting on a pink backdrop. So that should be here in no time. But let's crack on. I'm gonna show you the, I'll open the ephemera piece, I think, should I? Maybe I'll just show you the back of them. No, I'll probably open them for you. Uh, I'll show you the, the ephemera and then all the little bits and pieces, but I'm gonna start with the papers. So the 12 by 12 and eight by eight paper cards were sold out when I went to buy it and I was gutted. But if it comes back in stock, I will probably get them. However, for now, I just had to get some loose sheets. So the first one that I got was this one called Magic Spells. And this has the gold foil stars on it, the little witch with the jack-o'-lantern pot thing and some pumpkins. And then on the other side, it's this kind of like distressed pink, white and black stripe, like diagonal stripe which is really nice I also got this one called Under the Moonlight I got three of this one as well this one has the jack-o'-lanterns with the little Luna in it <laughs> and then the little um, what's it called? cauldron with those little ghosts and the moon and the bats coming out of it and this also has little tiny little specks of gold foil. And on the back, it's just this moon stars and black cat <laughs> pattern. Very lovely. Then I got this Luna Yena one. This is the cut apart sheet. I've got three of this one as well. And these are the different cut aparts. I put a spell on you. A lot of these little girls, I love it. This one's so cute. There's Luna here. Fright Night. Hey Pumpkin, Trick or Treat, Magic Potion and Spooky. So that's what that looks like. And then on the back, it's just little Lunas. <laughs> little black cat heads. Um, then I also got um, this one called Full Moon. I got three of these ones as well. These are also cut aparts. Um, but they're not. The other one is a 3 by 4 This one's just a mixture of all sorts. And there's even this strip here. And again, it has all of that foil in it, which I love. And then the back just has very similar to the 31 collection, this pink background with the spider webs. This one is one of my favourite ones. It's called Moonlight. Oops. It has all of those gold foiled stars and then those different white ghosts. I love it. So cute. And then on the back, it's just this black and white spiderweb paper with all of those pink splashes. Very lovely. Then I got this Halloween night one. This one I only got two of. Um, this is more for like a scrapbook layout, but I think I'll use it to make like an album cover or something. It also has some of that foil with those stars. It's a mixture of all sorts, a mixture of the girl with the jack-o'-lanterns, the pumpkins, the ghosts, the, the actual moon, all of that. And then the back has this pattern here, which I really, really like. And then last but not least, I got this pumpkin spells. I've got two of these as well. These are the tags. 
which are very, very nice for a tech flip. And the back just has these huge orange polka dots on a black and white starred paper. So yeah, that's that for papers. It's a very, very, very lovely collection. And the thing I probably like the most about it is that it works with the 31 collection. So I do still have some paper pads from the 31 collection with some papers left. So I can definitely combine those. Right, so that's that for those papers. Just leave that. I'll just move that there now then. Okay, the next thing I got were these flowers. These are the paper flowers from the collection. And they've got all of that kind of little glitter around it. The colours are fabulous. I got them because I can use these with this collection, but also for plenty of other things. So, got those. Just leave that there. So I also got the 6x6 six paper pad. This is the only size they had left. It's not my favourite size. I rather obviously the 12x12 12 12 or the 8x8. 8 8. But it's the best I could find. It's actually really good if you're trying to do little embellishments because all these sheets are like, you know, they shrink the images. So that's nice. But yeah, you get, how many did you get in here? You get eight double-sided designs, four sheets of each. So you get 32 total. The first one is this one here, which I've already shown you the big version of it, the 12 by 12 version of. And then the back just has the pink spider web. So that's four of those. Next one is the cut apart sheet. You see this one is like two by one and a half or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, this will be two by one and a half. Um, and then that's four of those. And the back of that is those little black cat heads. <laughs> then we've got this one here, which I didn't get in the big version, the 12 by 12 version, but it's really nice as well. And then you see one, two, three, four. The back has this pattern here with a haunted house and the black cat. And this is the little little girl that's a witch and then the distress striped one then this one with the cauldron and the bog dot behind we also have the mini tags which this would be ideal for a mini tag flip very very cute that just has that one like i showed you in the previous one and then is this the last one? Oh, sorry. This one's the one that looks like a scrub layout. And the back has this pattern. Oh, what was the other pattern then? Oh yeah, that's it. This pattern. And then this is the little ghosties. That have the black and white spider web. Back to that. And that's that for the six by six. Um, then I got the chipboard stickers. So this is what they look like. I love this little magic potion. Love the vintage side to Frank Garcia's collections. Scary, but make it cute. <laughs> Very, 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 very lovely designs. Just absolutely fabulous. I also got the puffy stickers. So cute. This one here is lovely. Look at this little ghost holding a heart. These little banners here are great. And then I also got this other puffy sticker set. Favourite. Favourite times two. <laughs> it's just ideal. Just so great. 
You get 35 puffy stickers in this one and 23 puffy stickers in that one. And then the two ephemera packs. So you get 76 in this ephemera pack here and 74 in this one here. And you get two of each, which I think is absolutely fabulous. So let's try to open this. I haven't actually gone through these myself yet, which is great. I've got my little um, trinket tray here to put them all in. Okay. Oh. So. We've got a little star, a gold foiled star, and a little um, candy corn with a face. Um, I'm sure the duplicates will be at the back. Oh, there's more here. <laughs> more candy corn faces. What's this? This pink pumpkin. This little strip here. Oh, I'm out of frame, sorry. This little distressed strip. That's the duplicate and the duplicate there. We've got this little witch. The little ghost. Another star. Another ghost. These that say spooky, another candy corn face, this little pumpkin, a stack of pumpkins, um, the cauldron, some of these are foiled, the witch hat, this other witch on a pumpkin, more candy corn and stars, another pumpkin. Another little witch, this one that says hey pumpkin, I think these are duplicates, more stars, more candy corn faces, plenty of candy corn faces actually, this one that says Luna in the gold foil, Oops. this one's a duplicate, duplicate, duplicates. This one that says October 31st, these moon ones, this 31 here, foiled, these ghosts, these black cats, this one's a duplicate, some more stars, trick or treat. This other black cat. These are duplicates. This little tag here that reads trick or treat. Another tag. That pattern. And then another tag with the cat pattern. And then this little, it's like a little file folder thing. That file insert. Insert, sorry, that says you glow. Pumpkin. It says you glow pumpkin. And then those are just duplicates. So that's that for, I don't know if this is pack number one or pack number two. But that's it for the first set of, <laughs> of ephemera, sorry. And then the next set of ephemera. Well, we've got a bunch of stars, like we did with the other one. You get this, all I need is you and some candy. Happy Halloween with the foil. Some ghosts. Oh, these are cute. A three, and I guess that's because there'll be a one somewhere else. A jack-o'-lantern, this beautiful moon. More stars, 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 stars everywhere. This little witch hat. This eye brand. This scary but make it cute. Um, oh, we've got letters reading boo in foil. A ghost, a cauldron. Oh, that's probably something to do with the letter or something these little pumpkins here 
that ghost again. Oops. This little witch. This little spooky night. This is like half of a tag kind of thing. This is a duplicate. Duplicate these little magic potions. It's a duplicate, duplicate. What's this? To my cute pumpkin. This is like a vintage one. Too cute to be spooky. Bunch of stars. Oh, this is the one from the 31, you see? More stars there, more pumpkins. There's so many in these packs. This little one here, that's Luna. These are duplicates, duplicates, duplicates. Two little witches. Then we have these bigger ones with this vintage image of the lady and this other one. Very, very, very lovely. Okay, so that's it for the Luna collection. Let me just put this aside. Before I show you the Candy Cane Lane collection, I just wanted to quickly show you some of the ephemeras. I'm not going to open these up because these are from last year. You can see them there. This is from Primus collection from last year, the Christmas collection. And I just wanted to stock up on some of those. And I also wanted to get some of these journaling cards because I'm planning on making some Christmas albums. And um, these come really handy because they are three by fours. So, I don't know if you've seen this one before, but you get 15 designs, three of each. So that's one, two, three. They all have the same back. One, two, three of this one. This paper here is so cute, so vintage. Two, three. Dear Santa, that's cute. This one here is one of my favorite ones. These blouse pieces, look how beautiful these are by the way. This one here, Christmas chimes. And this one on the nice list. This one here. Did I get four of that one? One, two, three. No. <laughs> that one. This one, very, very vintage. This one that says Merry Christmas. This one is also one of my favourite ones with all the ornaments. And this angel one again. Oh, sorry. And the last one with the little Bambi deer. So that's that for that. And I'll show you the Candy Cane Lane collection now. What I think I'm gonna do is clear this table so I've got enough space to show you all the other bits and bobs from the Christmas collection. So let me just do that. Sorry guys, I've had to turn on the light because I was losing a lot of light and there might be a few um, shadows here and there, but hopefully not too bad. Okay. Let's go, I think we'll start with the papers. Um, let's see, I think I've got, oh actually I'll show you. I got myself a pack of 12 by 12 ivory papers to make some albums with. And that there, and then I got myself some of the specialty papers. So I got one of the vellum sheets which is very, oh, it's the other way around, isn't it? Yeah, this way. Very, very, very nice. Those um, poinsettias in red and pink and the Christmas baubles. Very, very lovely. And then I got myself two of the acetate sheets with all of that gold foil, which is absolutely stunning. Beautiful colours this collection has. I'm so happy with it. Um, let me just open this up. I'll show you the 12 by 12 stack. Let's do this. So, this has eight double sided designs, three sheets of each, and then it has two cutout element sheets, which is great. So, the first one here is this. Let me see. 
this page here that's got some stars and specks and stuff in the gold foil this is lovely i use this as a cutter point sheet obviously and it's always so nice look at this postcard one here so stunning and then the back of it is the stripey paper like fixed um stripes very similar to the um halloween one so that's three sheets of each okay there we go next one up is this beautiful look at this vintage I'm gonna have to do it sideways guys sorry let me see can I pull this up a bit yeah that's fine oh so beautiful look at this it's got like that foiled paper clip on it oh the vintage images vintage Santa all of those little fairy lights with the peppermint showing through the flowers, some hydrangeas, roses, poinsettias, just so beautiful. Oh, it's bent. So that's three of those, and then the back just has the polka dot in the colours, and then with that little cluster and embellishment there, which is very lovely as well. Wow, look at this one. Look at this Santa paper. It just says Merry and Bright, Santa Claus, oh so merry, happy holidays to you, merry little Christmas, holly jolly and merry. And oh, this is beautiful, I love that paper. And the back is this imagery here with some sleighs and some reindeers. And it's got some Christmas trees with the presents. Some Christmas trucks carrying Christmas trees. The sleighs are pink and green with the Santa. Very, very lovely. Then we have this one here. This one has those little like cut apart bits where they look like file folder sheets and some ephemera bits. This Christmas Eve here with all the foil is stunning. Look at this little Bambi here with a little bow, how beautiful, cluster of flowers, so, so nice. And then the back is this bow and candy cane paper with some holly berries. Very, very beautiful. Then we have this paper with the stockings and some bows, also with some splashes of gold foil here and there, can you see? Very, very um, like delicate, like here for example, that's the gold foil there. And then the back of it just is a vintage red distressed background with some snow and snowflakes on it. Then, whoops, that'll work. Then we have this one here. This is like a scrapbook layout design. Again, a few touches of gold foil here and there. This little cluster here with a paper clip. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. This little cluster here with a paper clip and the little Bambi deer. Look at the collar. How oh, beautiful. How beautiful. And then the back of that one has this beautiful Christmas tree paper with the Bambi images and that vintage background look at that just stunning isn't it then we have some three by four cutter parts which are lovely some are foiled some are not look at this one christmas list this little girl here is lovely christmas chimes this is very similar to last year's and then the poinsettia paper. This is the one matching the vellum. Then we have some of the tags. Again, some are foiled. And then, whoops, the back is just this one here, matching the acetate. And then the last two, which I reckon are these two here, are uh, the two kind of extras. Yep, these are just two extras with some bits and bobs that we can fussy cut and have as embellishments. So some tags, some little like rib distressed designed embellishments, 
poinsettias and peppermints and bows and candy canes and banners and you know the Bambi deer or Santa just so 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 nice and the back of it is just quite a simple um, just pink distressed in the middle and on the sides just a bit of like a distressed vintage look with a mixture of polka dots and stripes and vintage like um, note paper and stuff like that beautiful really really lovely I'll just put these aside um, this is obviously the um, 8x8 and it just has the exact same papers just smaller and no foil so there's no need for me to show you that um, let's move on now on to the embellishments so I got two of the chipboards and this is what they look like <gasps> how cute I can't wait to craft with this this is all so exciting Christmas is here <laughs> Oh wow, not exactly here, it's still September, but so exciting. How beautiful is this image here? Oh, Frank Goss is so talented. Really lovely. So you get 33 pieces and I got two of those. I also got a pack of the roses. Love these. If I don't actually use them all for this collection, I can definitely use the pink for whatever, the white for a lot of Christmas stuff. And the red for Valentine's Day, if needed. I think paper flowers are just such a must. Then I got the um, first design of the puffy stickers. So this is the one that we're used to, kind of thing. So you get the bows, the Santas, Bambi, Nutcracker, all sorts of bits and bobs. And then some banners at the bottom. Very nice, you get 21 stickers in here. And then I got two of the new, like the second design that they've done for puffy stickers and they've done the same with the Luna collection like I showed you. So basically these are just a bunch of, um, you know, doubles kind of thing. So that's very, very nice. And then last but not least, I got the two ephemera packs. So I'm going to show you all the little pieces. I'll use my little heart shaped trinket tray. Okay, so I'll go through those afterward. Again, I think you get two of each here. And, oh, you don't actually. Oh, you don't? You must. Yeah, you get double, even though it doesn't say. It doesn't say two of each. Um, you do get doubles, so you get this big Christmas tree, which is lovely. So two of those, this fa la 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 banner, my flag banner thing, whoops, um, this one that says, and a merry ho 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 to you, and that's foiled, a lot of peppermints, you get a lot of peppermints in this collection, which is fantastic, so more peppermints there, this, this is the candy cane, this little vintage, Paper that's foiled. What does this say? Can't really understand this. Um, that's the double, like the double of it, and then more candy cane, more peppermint. Sorry, this little strip, this little kiddo with a Christmas tree with a little bird on top. Can you see? This little Merry Christmas. There's two in there. Little Bambi deer. Nutcracker, poinsett red poinsettias, another nutcracker, this Santa, sweet Rudolph, another Bambi deer, whoop, there it is, this is a double one, double one, that's the double for the other Bambi deer, then this one here, this Bambi head here, with the bow, it's beautiful, another sweet Rudolph, another one of those strips, this girl with a little kitten. Um, some tags. So you get two of these tags. With stockings. This little joy. Sentiment. Some striped tag. That little girl again. More peppermints. This bow is beautiful. Um, tag again. Another like very vintage clustered kind of tag. Beautiful with a foil. Um, that one's the double, I think. 
Oh no, it wasn't. So it's Merry Christmas to you. There's Santa here, this vintage Santa. Oh, you get a lot of stars again, like foiled gold stars, which is great. That bow again, peppermint. Um, get this little Christmas list ephemera piece with the centre on top and then you get this image, that blurred image of the lit up Christmas tree which is lovely. Okay, let me put those back in their package. That. And then the second one has, I don't know if this is like, I don't know what pack is pack number one and pack number two. To be honest. Very, very um, stuck. Okay, let me see if I can get it out of here. You get again a bunch of peppermints. There's 62 bits in here, and there's definitely two of each. There has to be. So that's a pink poinsettia there. This Merry Little Christmas banner that's foiled. Got this little Santa with the little presents double of it. This says Merry and Bright. This little girl with her presents in front of her Christmas tree. 25 and that's foiled. More strips. Oh this one's beautiful. Christmassy. Very vintage. There's two in there. That pink poinsettia again. Some red poinsettias. This says Holly, Jolly and Merry. This little paper clip. Ephemera, that's the poinsettia again, the bow, but this time around it's the big one. Big candy cane, more peppermints, Jolly Jolly and Mary, we've seen that one. Another Bambi deer, um, some gifts, Merry Christmas, more peppermints, another vintage Santa, I love this one, this one's very realistic, I love it. Um, that's the peppermint again, bow, but this time in red, more peppermint, gifts wrapped in red, and that's that bow again, this little bauble ornament, Merry Christmas, oh I think I didn't show you that one, I'm not sure, <laughs> that's another candy cane, more ornaments, more gifts, another ornament, then we have these little clusters here, um, some fa la 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 in gold and the Christmas chimes, very very lovely, very 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 lovely, love this, so let's try and put it all in there, see if we can, okay, we'll just leave it like that. Alrighty, so that's it for my um, Prima Marketing haul, you guys. It's been absolutely super mega exciting to open up this package because I really, really, really couldn't wait to craft with all of these bits and bobs. I want to craft, send some surprise happy mail out because I've already done my um, Halloween crafting for my swaps. So... If that video isn't up, it will be up very soon. But, you know, that has been already sent and received and everything. So I don't really have any more swaps to do. But not any more agreed swaps. I do want to do a few surprise mails. Um, a surprise mail for a few people. So I'm definitely going to do it with some Halloween and some Christmas and stuff like that. And then make some albums as well. I want to make some albums for this Christmas. It's going to be a fun Christmas for me. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I really hope... You enjoyed watching this video i cannot recommend more getting these collections prima marketing and franklin garcia never let you down never let you down um beautiful work from them beautiful designs i cannot wait to put my hands on to some you know ephemera pieces and some stickers and make some beautiful embellishments if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, click the notification bell button so you are notified every time I upload a video. And that's it, guys. 
See you in my next video. Bye!